got here. So these are yellow peppers, red bell peppers. These are sangria peppers, which are kind of like decorative and ornamental peppers. Yeah. Um, grape tomatoes. Brussels sprouts over here, which they get to look like tiny palm trees with like they probably have like 50 Brussels sprouts growing out of the sides, it looks like. It's really cool, I've never done it before. Um, a couple of strawberries, which I already have little strawberries growing on. So that flower there is uh, part of the strawberry? Yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a little strawberry. Wow. And so over here, I just kind of did from seed. I mostly just spread seed. But um, these are onions and lettuce and cabbage back there. And some tomato plants in here. Radishes and So peas. for the tomatoes, did you, uh, oh, is that what's uh, pinned up against those posts? Well, those are garden beans. Oh, okay. So the tomatoes, are they going to be tied to anything so that they can grow up or um some of them some of the uh tomato plants require cages but that i don't know you can get some that uh, i forget what they're called but they just are really compact they don't spread out as much this is so great and this is um in the backyard of a, a philadelphia home uh, in west philadelphia just easy to yeah, when I moved install in, as part of a backyard. When I moved in, actually, this was all just dirt and kind of trash and all of this backyard was. Yeah, when I cleared it out, there Let was back this up. rip underneath, which I kind of had to reassemble here into a little patio. But it was actually underneath all the dirt and trash and stuff. So the landlord didn't even know it was here, and I cleaned it up and found a little walkway all the way out. Morris, I threw grass seed three years ago and it's been coming back every year. I don't know, it didn't require a lot of work and I'm only renting the place but it seemed obvious so why wouldn't I spruce it up and it requires so little time and effort. <laughs> yeah, it looks beautiful and uh, so you were able to just spruce up your backyard a little bit and able to with just, look at, it's just less than a quarter of this backyard is the garden almost a quarter but still less and look how much food it can provide pretty awesome well uh, about how much maintenance does it take uh, to do something like this you maintain it every day yeah, i assume i um you know i put some fertilizer occasionally but it's like an organic fertilizer um, maybe only twice a month and then I'll rake it out because it's still there's like glass and some pieces of metal just because it's bad Philadelphia soil hmm um, you gotta rake it out a little it takes a little care okay so tilling the soil is important but um, don't have to deal with animals in the city don't have to deal with pests like you do out in the country you know it's not problems that's really great. Okay, yeah, so no animals and no pests mm -hmm. out here. So really, it sounds like the city is an ideal place to have a backyard garden. So you're not gonna attract bears and anything, like right. you might in the suburbs. <laughs> so yeah, look at, and I mean, this is all just city houses, They're just row homes. This is actually in the same neighborhood as where um, the Philadelphia police dropped a four pound bomb on the group called Move uh, 28 years ago. Mm. Philadelphia became the city that bombed itself.